Hello guys, it's Derek Tafuma here or DerekTafuma.com. So today I want to talk about an application called Mindly. So Mindly is an application, it's, my, it's a mind mapping application and I'm actually going to use it here and demonstrate exactly how it works. So first of all, what we need to understand is that social media has become a place where we can educate, entertain, persuade, or even influence. That's why we have terms such as influencer marketing for uh, platforms like Facebook, for example, or Instagram in specific, because Instagram is the one that's associated more with influencer marketing. But even YouTube itself is uh, doing the same thing. So you can become an influencer by the work that you're doing on social media. So this is why I am doing this. And then the other thing to understand is that we can now use words, pictures, audio, and video, like I'm using video now, we can use these and express ourselves using these four types of communication. So it is no longer the case that um, big companies, big conglomerates are in charge of disseminating and creating and distributing words, pictures, audio and video. We now have the capacity to do that. This is why I am able to do this. This is why you're able to type uh, words into any social media platform, why you're able to post pictures, why you can post audio, uh, why you can just talk why I can take this audio from this video and repurpose it into a podcast, why I can do video like I'm doing now, why I can even do it live, you know, just like a regular television station, I can do a live show like I'm doing now. So these are the things that I want to demonstrate with um, all the things that I'll be talking about in these videos, but specifically today, I want to look at uh, Mindly, and I want to look at how we can use, or you can use Mindly. So I'm already Mindly, <coughs> and I'm just going to show. So this is actually the Mindly website. Um, if there are any comments, guys, I am just waiting for the comments to come in that I can respond to them. So this is not, a presentation where I will not be interrupted. You can interrupt me with some comments, and then I can I can respond to the comments uh, if I can. Now, I'm already in, in inside of the Mindly application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just show you the website because I'm already in within the website. So this is the website. You can click on the features, downloads or support right there. Um, but basically what it allows you to do is to organize your inner universe. Okay. And I'll show you exactly how it's doing that. Now you can download uh, on the app store. You can download uh, the app on Google Play and also on the Mac app store. So I'm actually using the Mac App Store version of the app to do this presentation. Okay, so the Mindly app is the new groundbreaking system uh, to keep you organized and focused. And I must say that for someone whose mind is always racing, uh, like myself, this has come as a surprise to me to think there is actually a platform where I can put all of my thoughts into one. Okay, and not get bogged down with all the ideas that are coming through. So it's the, it used to be the case for me in particular that I have so many different applications where I've got my ideas in all those different platforms. But you tend to forget to, to, to access that information because of the nature in which it is stored. So you find that it's not as intuitive as this application called Mindly has become. Okay, at face value, like when I start using it, it's not as sophisticated as all the other platforms. It doesn't look that sophisticated, it looks so simple. 
uh, but in that simplicity there is a lot of complexity so just looking at it, i thought what is really going on here how have these guys really come up with this idea and as you can see on the right hand side there there is an <clears throat> there is um, a demonstration of exactly how you can organize your universe obviously uh, the animation is not something that you see on the app itself but um, yeah I'll show you exactly how it works so instead of just talking about what it could do I'll actually show you uh, what I have done with it and I'm sure you can do even more uh, with it if you wanted to so there are some use cases here at the bottom of the um, application or of the website where you've got a manager so the manager can think about uh, the next product launch he can think about the market needs um, the timeline the uh, building the excitement position and messaging and uh, the goals and you can have if he clicks on any of those then it should give him um, some ideas it will give him a chance to write down the ideas concerning that so if you're a student uh, you get this sort of thing say you are doing the french revolution and you're looking at 1789 and then you're looking at the travis is that travis or tennis court i can't see that uh king's george king king threats with uh interest something like that with or test i can't read that uh properly because it's too small so because it's on the website you know it's just uh, an infographic right if you're a photographer you might be thinking about a photo shoot locations equipment weather forecast uh, project list and short list okay so there are so many um, examples here of how you can use it so you can download it like i said on the app store the google play store or the mac app store or you can download a trial but the trial will let you build maybe uh two maximum i think uh just two of those um, but i think with just one you can go quite a long way so it's quite an exciting application and i'm just going to show you now so i'm going to close that just to show you that this was actually uh the website I actually clicked on the website because i saved it I saved it here and I was able to click on it and talk about it and I can just click to close it there and if I click on here then you can see I've got Mindly and I've got the website there so if I click again uh, I've actually saved Mindly within Mind Maps okay and if you look here I have presentation which means that Mind Maps are, are part of the um resources that i'm using for presentation so i press here keynote powerpoint and then mind maps so on mind maps i could actually add another mind maps um say so i could say mind domo which is another application which i'm exploring so i could put mind domo here and i could put another uh, mind map here maybe um let me just check i've got a few mind maps on my let me just check on my computer here on my ipad here i have for example mind node so i could write in mind node here as another application i'll just to show you exactly how this works so i can have mind node and i can have uh, mind jet maps so I'm gonna add mind jet maps here. Mind jet maps. Okay, which is another mind map application. And then I can add uh, a fourth one. Let's say mind vector. Mind vector. So I can add mind vector. And I've added mind vector. Now, so I've added these. Uh, now I've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I've already shown you how I can add or oh, I've already shown in the website to Mindly and now I'm going to add a website for Mind say Mind Node okay click on Mind Node click here add web link and I'll just look for Mind Node here 
and it's gonna come out my node home click on it and then there is a website for my node home so I'm going to edit right here and then I'm going to drag it and edit and move it there so I've moved it it is now here I can just click on it now if I was going to talk about it I could just click on it and there it is okay and then I can just talk about it in the presentation and then I'll just show you one more so say mind vector I'm going to put a mind vector web link here mind vector uh, there it is mind vector web dot com and it's come up so there it is I'm just gonna add it here so I've just added mind uh, mind vector and you can do whatever you want there you can download all these we can go through it when you have the time I'm just showing the objective now is just to show you how you can actually also move there and the other thing you can also do is to add an image so I could add an image so what it's going to do is that it's going to take me to my computer uh, and then it's going to look for image so let me just go to downloads and I'm just going to add a random image for now because I don't have uh, I haven't prepared a particular image so I'll just say I just pull this one in uh, this link the in one just pull that in I click put it there move it here and now when I click on it uh, the image actually shows up like that okay so let me just close that so now I've got an image and I've got the website so those are the two things you can add at the moment okay then I can go back so I can go back and by the way we're talking about Mindly okay so I could change the color for Mindly and say oh I wanted a bright red and I'm just gonna uh, do that so it's change its color to bright red and the other thing I can also do is to put an icon and I'm gonna choose an icon uh, let's say that it's a mind map it's to do with planning so it's organization so I'm gonna go to organization and see if I can find something to do with uh, mind mapping and I don't see anything immediately so I'm just gonna put uh, let me just put that you know I'm just gonna put that okay it doesn't matter what I put uh, let's see so yeah so because it's red you can't really see it so I'm gonna change the the color of the icon organization let me change it to something of a contrasting color so I'm gonna put this yellow thing here so just put a yellow thing there ah, there's a yellow book okay so the other thing we can do as well is we can make some notes so I can make some notes here within mind and say I'm gonna do a Facebook live Facebook live on my page okay on Facebook page or oh, Facebook page live stream Facebook page live stream okay uh, <clears throat> and then I can say oh maybe I'm gonna talk about other applications other mind mapping tools other mind mapping tools like that etc etc okay and I can just leave it there so these notes if you see this sort of thing here then you know that there are some notes in there and I can just click and the notes are going to show up okay so that was mindly now just to show you how far this has come so it's come under presentation and I've got PowerPoint here and I can just click on PowerPoint and it's going to take me to the Microsoft website where you can find out more about Microsoft uh, platforms um, in particular the PowerPoint so that was just one of the presentations and look you can make this rotate it was one of them and I was using so mindly came under mind maps okay and I've, I've just added other mind maps here but if you go back it was all under presentations 
Uh, if we go back again, it was under software uh, tools. If you go back again, it was under media tools and platforms. And I've got the hardware tools here. Uh, and I have the software tools. So it's come under software tools and it's come under presentation. And under presentation, it's come under mind maps. And then I've got mind the right there. So you can see that it's it's so many layers deep. So let's see how many layers deep it is. So it's so supposing this was the first layer and it's a two so that would have been number two number three uh, number four and number five so it's it's five layers deep okay but if you go back again then you have the media tools then you have me so Derek Tafuma media and under Derek Tafuma media I would have gone to uh, media tools and platforms and then I would have gone to tools because it's a tool and I've gone to software tool because it's a software tool and I've, I would have gone to presentations because it's a presentation and then to mind map and then to mindly okay so let me see exactly how many layers deep that is okay so we have one two three four, five, six. Okay, so six layers. And then if I click on the home button, I've got all the other, um, all the other presentations or all the other planning. Okay, the other planning that I've been able to do with this. Okay, so back to Director Fuma Media uh show you one more time go to media and tools go to tools go to software tools go to presentation software go to your mind map presentations and then go to mindly okay so i think that this should be able to help you uh to come up with um how you can use it in your own field so you could basically use it for anything and I've been using it for about a week now and I think that it's helped me not to forget some of the things that I actually think about but never get around to doing okay so thank you for listening and if you are watching this on YouTube because I'm going to post it on YouTube straight after this you can always my subscribe is that my subscribe yeah that's my subscribe and it's derritaforma.com if you want to find out more and we've been talking about um, we've been talking about an application called mindly so thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video so the target is 1000 guys if you subscribe we can take the count to a thousand okay